What's up guys, it's Jake from the Triple Double Show, here with my friend Terrell. Yup, right here. Uh, today we're going to be doing a NBA Would You Rather. Shout out to the king of the fourth quarter on YouTube, down in Chicago, got me into this type of stuff. Uh, so let's just get right into it. Um, would you rather have MVP Derrick Rose or MVP Allen Iverson? Oh man, see that's a tough one. I'm, see, I'm, I've always been a big AI fan, one of my favorite players since I was a kid. So, I mean, Derrick Rose, so athletic, such a good player, but I'm, I'm definitely going on Iverson. It's, for me, it's a really close one because MVP Rose, oh man, no one can, no one can stop him. No, he was just a monster, started dunking on everybody. Uh, I've also been an Iverson fan though, so I, I would... I would rather have Iverson just to see him like break ankles. Of course, dude. Yeah. Want to see That's all I want to see. Saucy old cross. Oh fuck! <laughs> That's all I want to see, honestly. No, but I would take MVP Iverson. I, I liked his. I liked his uh, play style a lot more. So me. saucy. Yeah. So saucy. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, I, he's my favorite player, so I, I, I'd have to pick Iverson. I mean, handles were crazy, man. Is crazy. Um, next one. Um, would you rather see James Harden be MVP or Giannis? Ooh, James Harden or Giannis? Man, okay. So I'm gonna say James Harden. James Harden because he's such a versatile player. He plays point guard, shooting guard. He can even step up to the small forward position if they needed him to. He has insane handles, and he has the nicest jump shot, dude. The lefty. He's so good. And I feel like he's been duped out of a few MVPs, oh, yeah. honestly. Oh, yeah. Honestly, like, he's, de he's, <laughs> he, he's been a He's been runner-up the last couple years, yeah, I mean. Yeah, like, he's right there. Giannis, I mean, insane player, but just not quite James Harden. See, I feel like, I feel like Giannis is, like, like, he's he obviously a great player, but, like, I don't know, man. Something about James Harden being like, I feel like he was snubbed a little bit uh, the last couple of years because mm -hmm. he, I mean, man was averaging over like 25 points a game, dude. It was wild. But Giannis has like so much like athleticism. It's just like he, he could play almost every position. Mm -hmm. Just like he could play that center because he's so lengthy and, and tall and just can like grab anything yeah but then again he can play that like he can play that small forward because he he does to have the athleticism and stuff mm -hmm. and he, he could just like step up see but his jump shot isn't there yet it's not fully developed no no no, no yeah it's not even it's not even close right now see if he had a jump shot it'd be a lot closer in my opinion i think it'd be a lot closer if he could if he worked on that outside jumper he'd he'd be a lot better no yeah i totally agree once he develops that jump shot Ooh, watch out freak freak watch out all right we'll get into the next one um in a season would you rather average a triple double or record five quadruple doubles Oof. Oh no, that's easy. No, Dude. that's easy. Triple doubles every time. Really? Oh yeah. No way. You gotta no have, way. Average a triple double. No way. Are you kidding me? Dude, okay. There's been like, there's been like four quadruple doubles ever recorded. Okay. So there have been like two people who've ever averaged a triple double. Okay. That's way harder. But to do five quadruple doubles that's in a single season, to average don't even tell me that's light work because it's not. Average a triple double. That's so much harder. I, that two I, people in history have recorded. Triple a triple double season. I'm just saying, getting a triple double is a lot easier than getting a quadruple double. I'm saying a lot easier. It's easier, but to average that a lot because hey, that's 82 games. You have to go off. Yeah, I know. Just saying, the first three, the usual like three categories in which a triple double is like stacked. It's points, assists, rebounds. Okay. That means you have like blocks, steals, and like I don't I don't know what else. But like, I'll, I'll it'll come to me later. But like, you're, I it's way harder to get ten more steals or blocks. And a big man, a big man, Hassan Whiteside, you know damn well he ain't putting up, you know 
damn well he ain't putting up 10 assists. <laughs> Okay, that's facts, but still, averaging a triple-double is insanely hard for any player of any caliber in the NBA. Well, honestly, put me in, coach, see what happens. No way, <laughs> stop. You're averaging a quadruple-double with turnovers, <laughs> missed shots. <laughs> ten missed shots, ten turnovers. <laughs> no, triple-double by far, landslide. I don't have to disagree with you there, buddy. You're really going to go quadruple-double. I'm really going to go quadruple-double. All right. I'm Just because the... Um, I just think it's so much harder. No way. So much harder to get a quadruple. It's, it's so much harder to get a quadruple double, bro. Yeah, it's harder to get a quadruple double than a triple double, obviously. Oh, yes, than obviously. to get five of them in okay. a single season. But average. There's been four out of recording. There have been two players <laughs> to ever average a triple double. I'm just saying the probability of someone averaging a triple double is probably greater than aver- than getting five quadruple doubles in a single season. Ah, uh, we're going to need to run a stat sheet on that one. I'm not too sure about that one, but we'll s- All right, whatever. Agree to disagree. What's the next all one? All right, all right. <laughs> okay. Would you rather cross up LeBron or dunk on Curry? I want to cross... Oh, shit. No, no, <laughs> I'm crossing LeBron every day, bro. If I sit LeBron, the king down, if I get to sit that man down, you know I'm stepping up and pulling up, dude. Dunking on Curry has happened too many times. Which no is one. why I want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. No one ever shakes LeBron. Dude, uh, dude, dude. <laughs> no one shakes LeBron. I want to see someone that's 5'8". Go dunk <laughs> on Curry. Dude, I want to see some 5'8". Just cross up LeBron. Murder that man. I'm in 6'6", 240. If you sit that man down, you're a legend for for life. Okay. But you... Dude, no one... dunk on no, Curry, you end his life. Yeah, but you're not a legend. You don't, you don't reach legendary status just for crossing a or uh, dunking on Steph Curry. To cross up the king, one like one of the best players to ever play the game. To cross that man up. Okay, so when Allen Iverson crossed up Jordan, basically. Yes, basically. So you say you'd rather do that than to poster Steph Curry? Yes. No. Hundred percent. No. Cross up the goat or dunk on a great. Dude, meet me at the rim, Curry. I'll see you. That I'll see you there. Wrong again, but it's fine. Would you rather have Prime Kobe or Prime LeBron? Ooh. Ooh. See, this is a little... This is a little... Mm, this is like... It's a tough one. I don't know how to say it. It's like... Ah, oh, it's so opinionated because some people still think LeBron is in his prime. Yeah, So that's true. Which he probably is because... <laughs> that man's a monster. Yeah, he's been in his prime for like 10 years <laughs> already. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Prime Kobe, Prime LeBron. I'm going LeBron. I'm, I'm going, going LeBron, LeBron on this one. I'm going prime LeBron on this one. Oh, I'm, I'm going prime LeBron on this one. Dude, again, I'm, Dude. Disagreeing. I'm, agree- I'm disagreeing with you. I'm disagreeing. I want Kobe. Give me Kobe. Kobe Bean Bryant. The Black Mamba. <laughs> the Bean. The Bean. That Dude, man. Give me the king. Give me the king. I'll take a bean Dunk over, a king. over Jason Terry. <laughs> okay. Okay. How, what's LeBron's most scored points in a game? I don't know. Okay, Kobe's is 81. So. Yes, 81. Okay. 80 freaking 1. Okay. Goat. Goat alert. Okay, so Wilt Chamberlain scored 100. He's not the goat. Okay. There he, you go. Where's the re- But his stat sheet be- behind that? <laughs> Non-existent. What you mean? No, it's existent. What you mean? Not like no, 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 no. Five no, no, rings. No. Five rings. Okay. How many 11 rings. Have? Bill Russell, he's not the goat. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Okay, but that's not the- We're talking about Kobe Bryant now. Five rings compared to Wilt. Okay. How many does he have? I really Not don't know. Five. I really don't know how Not much Wilt has. I don't know. How many rings does LeBron have? Does it matter? <laughs> it does. It does matter. Okay, three rings, so. Okay, that's two more, bro. Kobe's the goat. I don't even care. Taking LeBron. All right, let me ask you this question. Who's winning one on one? LeBron or Kobe? Prime. Obviously, LeBron. Yeah. Don't even disagree. <laughs> That's a different argument. Don't even though. disagree. That's a different argument, though. I would still take LeBron, no matter what. No matter what. I think LeBron is the best player in the world. Ever? Ever. Bold Ooh. statement, but I'm saying it. Ooh, how Bold. many dislikes are we going to get, bro? Dude, give me dislikes. I really don't care. Hey, stop that. I stand that. by. <laughs> stop that. Hey, give us a thumbs up, please. <laughs> no, you know what? Dislike this video. <laughs> No, uh, dude, I, I, bold statement, I'm standing by it. LeBron, I feel like LeBron's the best player ever. Mm, mm, mm. You know what? Everyone's entitled to their opinion. Some are just worse than others. Mm-hmm. 
Alright, you know what? Fine. Alright, next one. Would you rather uh, be slow, but be 7 foot 6 inches, or be fast and ha uh, be 5 foot 3 inches? Give me the height. Really? Give me the height. Really? Because how slow am, how slow am I? Like, like, what's my 40 time? <laughs> 10 right, seconds? How, how, how slow are we talking now? How slow are you? You ever seen, like, a... Oh, what's his name? Oh, God. What's his name? What's, oh, have you ever seen Artist Gilmore run in 2K? Artist Gilmore. <laughs> <laughs> that little trot. Yeah. You're that slow. That's or slow. or you're 5'3", but you're as fast as John Wall. Ooh, John Wall speed? I'm taking short. Short but fast. Short but fast. Give me short and give me speed. All right, but my post game's already immaculate. Dude, shut up. Imagine shut me at 7'6". You do this? Imagine me at 7'6". Okay. Post game unstoppable. No. I'm dunking on accident. Dude, put Shaq on you. You're not going anywhere. Bet. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, he said I was slow. I could be super strong. Could be 7'6". It doesn't six, say that. It doesn't say that. Super strong. All right. It has a picture of Manu Bowl. You know damn well that dude was a twig. <laughs> he ain't getting nowhere on Shaq. Um, <laughs> or or you got mean old Muggsy Bogues over here <laughs> with the speed of John Wall. Okay. Mm, no, I'm, I'm sticking 7'6". No, give, me, give me some height. Choice. I've always been ashamed of my height, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, would you rather have Ben Simmons or Andrew Wiggins? Give me Big Ben. Give me Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons. My rookie of the year choice. He's Give me Ben Simmons. Year. Give me Ben Simmons. Oh, but the coups? All right, I'm sorry. All right, all right. I'll give this one to you. Yep, man. yep. Give me Ben Simmons. I'll give you Ben Simmons. Give right. me Ben Simmons. You're dude. right. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Ben Simmons. He's a monster. He's Dude, he's going off. And he's I, a you monster. Know, Andrew Wiggins ain't having... He's not, okay. having, he's not having the best year. I mean, last year was better. But then again, Jimmy Butler did join the team. So. That's true. A lot of the attention is kind of doing Yeah. Away. I mean, last year he was like postering two people every game. <laughs> <laughs> that's facts. That's facts. <laughs> no, but this year, give me Ben Simmons. He, he's he's my rookie of the year choice. And I'm going to stick with that. We'll see. All right. Who would you rather have to back you up in a fight? Ron Artest or Ben Wallace? Run our test. Dude. Run our test. <laughs> I don't no, know. No, 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 no. Give me Ben no, no, Wallace. No, no, no. That is huge, bro. That's so Give me Ben Wallace, ben dog. Wallace, no, Give me bro. Ben Wallace. I misspoke, bro. Ben Wallace Give me Ben huge. Wallace, dog. Ben Wallace is huge, bro. Give me Big Ben. That, oh, man. I, Dude, I feel like. You know Ron Artest <laughs> is always angry. Just look. He, he's ready to fight anyone. <laughs> Bro, all you have to do is learn how to block elbows. You're chill. Oh, no. <laughs> Throw back. <laughs> Dude, he got interviewed on Conan for that elbow. Really? He got an interview on Conan for that elbow. He, he kept saying it was completely accidental. There's no way. No way. You know, there's you no know. way. You don't just haymaker someone with an elbow like that on accident. Would you rather have LeBron go to the Lakers or stay on the Cavs? Stay on the Cavs. Really? Well, he's with Dwayne Wade right now. Okay, but Dwayne Wade is not. He's. Um, I'd rather him stay with Dwayne Wade than go to Lonzo. You cannot deny that. I'm gonna deny. It. Are you kidding? I'm really gonna deny. It. Oh my God, those two Dwayne. are a dynamic duo. Okay, let's just okay. Dwayne Wade, this year, is not having a like, not having a Dwayne Wade year. Okay. I mean, but still, they're those two mesh together so well. Okay, so well. Yeah, in the past. Well, you can't. This is like you have to base this off of what's happened in the past, because you already know what happened with what's up with LeBron because of his previous history with Dwayne Wade. You don't know anything about the Lakers. He might not mesh well, but you know he meshes really well with Dwayne Wade. See, the problem is, I'm saying if you put LeBron on. Any team, he's just gonna he's gel. Gonna, he he's gonna gel. He, I, I don't, I I don't care what like people say, but like, put LeBron on any team, he's gonna gel with him. He's, he's gonna, just that. Okay, I wouldn't say he's gonna make them. He's gonna gel with them. He's gonna make the team better. He's gonna gel with him. 
He's definitely gonna make the team better just because of because how he's good of a player. Him. Yeah, I know. Stop. <laughs> because of how good of a player he is, not because he works with everyone. Because that's not no one's that universal. Like no one can work with every player ever. But LeBron's so good, he can make any team he goes on better. Yeah, he gets people. He gets people involved. That's gelling together. Not necessarily. Pretty much. Gelling if you together, work as a team. If you work as a team, you cannot tell me that's not gelling together. Yeah, working as a team, it's different than like... You know what? <sighs> Give me a sec. Let me gather my thoughts. Okay. So gelling together isn't just one man passing the ball to the open man. Because LeBron always gets double teamed because mm -hmm. he's a monster. You have to gel with another team. You have to like anticipate their moves. You have to know what they're going to do. You have to like... Really get the way that player plays. See, that's the thing with LeBron. He's smart enough. He, he yeah, just has it, that basketball. He has such a good basketball IQ. It's not about LeBron. It's about the team that he's on. Yeah. If you're going to gel with the team, they have to have the same level of IQ or at least something close. Dwayne Wade has that same level of IQ. Okay. He has that basketball so, IQ. If you put him on the Lakers, not everyone on the Lakers has that same like okay. just natural ability to read the floor. So when LeBron went to Cleveland for... When, uh, d during his comeback, he played with Kyrie. Mm -hmm. They gelled. L look at Kyrie's basketball IQ. It's so high. It, he always makes the right pass. He always knows when to take the last shot. He always knows when to go to the hoop. He's a very highly IQ'd basketball player. Okay, okay. J.R. Smith. J.R. Smith. Shooter. J.R. Smith. Shooter. Okay. Ooh, IQ? That doesn't mean they gelled perfectly together. They, they gelled. They gelled good. They did not. They gel. gelled good. They did not gel. What they oh worked. My God. Okay. They worked. You need to but watch more tabs. Game. You need to watch more tabs. Game. They worked, but they did not gel. That's all I'm saying. Either way, I'm saying LeBron, you're going. I, I would. I would say go to the Lakers, rather than stay in Cleveland. Disagree. All right. Was this right? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> in five years, would you rather have Leangelo Ball or LaMelo Ball? <laughs> I'm taking Leangelo because he gets so many steals. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take that question seriously, dude. I mean, shout out Big Baller Brand, but still. <laughs> They're playing overseas. I don't, I don't know. Lithuania. Oh it's, my god. It's whatever. Stop. They don't even know how to talk to their teammates. <laughs> <laughs> You know they don't gel. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so it looks like we're going to end it right there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll make sure to post a new one uh, maybe in like a week or so. As soon as possible. Soon we're as trying possible. to get out as much content Basically. as we can. Basically. Really trying to build the fan base. Anything, any support you guys can give us, we really appreciate. Thank you guys so much. This is the Triple Double Show. Terrell Chris, my boy Jake Yasutaki, signing off. Thanks, yes, guys. Sir. Ryan, we're done. All right. All right, we're done. All right. <laughs>